I'm going to vote for Evan Ginsburg. I want to see what the viewers say. And guys, when we tally up your votes right now, uh, essentially whoever wins will move on to round number two. So let's uh, let's get let's get your votes in right now. John Red votes Glacier. That's one for Glacier. Joel says Mr. Ray Lloyd. Kimberly says Evan Ginsburg. Taekwon says Evan Ginsburg. Rock says Ray. Roger says Ray. We have Pete, not Sharpie, voting Ray. John votes Ray. <laughs> we have Michael voting for Ray. Jay Brony says, sorry, Ray, but Evan is my vote. So this is getting close. Robert Arrowwood is voting Ray. Uh, let a couple of more votes come in. Uh, Evan is down two. Ed votes Ray. Evan, uh, uh, Ray Lloyd is up three now. Steven votes Ray. He's up four. Mike Doyle votes Evan, raise up three. Uh, I'll keep this up for about another minute or so, guys and gals. This is close. This is actually really, really close. We have more people voting in right now. Some more votes are coming in. Uh, Jamie votes Evan. Kelly says, I would say a tie. Boom, come on, give us one. No ties. Uh, John Boloniak votes Ray. 30 seconds. We need about three more votes for Evan, or unless if that doesn't happen, Glacier Ray Lloyd has moved on to round number two. So let's keep him coming right now, guys and gals. Evan needs three more votes to tie this thing up. And if in the event of a tie, I have one more trivia category. In the event of a tie, uh, that'll be the tiebreaker. No. Guys and gals, Glacier Ray Lloyd has moved on to round number two officially. Uh, Evan, I want to turn it over to you right now. The floor is yours. Anything you'd like to say about anything going on right now? I know that you've got the book coming up. There's a lot of stuff. Evan's always busy. The floor is yours. Anything you'd like to tell the masses? Floor is yours. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Ray Lloyd, who I have a lot of respect for. And again, I wish you nothing but the best as far as your hip because it's not, it's not an easy process. My wife had endless, endless therapy for months, so uh, I know it's not easy. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah and, and so really, uh, this was a lot of fun, and I appreciate Avi having me on. And uh, you know what I'd like to say? Uh, the, uh, the gentleman in the previous competition, GOC, that guy has more charisma than 90% of the wrestlers and manages on TV. That guy, that guy should be on TV. I'm uh, serious. Uh, anyway, uh, please check out 350 Days. It's a heartfelt documentary. We spent six years on it. Bret Hart, Superstar Billy Graham, Greg Valentine, Tito Santana, three dozen legends. And uh, yours truly has a book coming out this August. It's a hundred stories. Um, not just wrestling. Um, Film industry, the educational field, uh, 100 stories, all true. Some of the um, legends that I've been blessed to have been friends with over the years. Stories on Johnny Valiant and Nikolai Volkov, Killer Kowalski, you know, a lot of great legends. And uh, that's basically it. And I, I'd like to thank Avi for this forum and uh, for all the listeners and viewers. and. You know, thank you, everybody. This was Let me wonderful. ask you a question, Evan. Is uh, is the Midway Theater in Forest Hills has it opened up? It's reopened, and oh, yes, really? please, please, everybody, support movie theaters. Oh, oh, they yes. go away. Okay, uh, Ray Lloyd has a movie coming out. We need yes. movie theaters. Absolutely, absolutely. I love them, guys. Forest Hills to Forest Hills. Evan Ginsburg, thank you for thank joining you. us. On the thank game. you, guys. Thank you so much, Evan. Uh, Ray Lloyd, my friend, I turn it over to you with anything you'd like to say. I know there's people asking about the replaceables, people are asking about breaking the ice, but also if you can, I want you to bring up, please, and this is something I think people really want to know since you're on here live. Why do you want to win this tournament, Ray Lloyd? I know you're a competitor. Why do you want to win this entire thing? The floor is yours solo right now, my good friend. Well, first of all, let me just say once again, and I mean this sincerely, what a real honor and a pleasure it is to share the segment with, uh, with Evan. Um, you know, he's, he's done so much to bring awareness uh, to the pro wrestling industry, and, uh, and he still continues to do that. So uh, this was a lot of fun. And, uh, and for anybody who's, who actually, if you're guessing and wondering at all, I promise we didn't get fed these questions beforehand. So <laughs> what you saw is our true, honest answers to these questions. And, uh, and we didn't get any, about any of the info on the promos either. So, um, so this is all basically straight from the hip, off the cuff, so to speak. 
and um, uh, I just want to thank Evan for uh, for being willing to, uh, to 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 compete in this tournament and especially in this first round against me. And I'm just fortunate to to move forward. But but yeah, you know, as far as the uh, the tournament itself, um, let's face it. You know, we we've all gone back and forth with David Holiday. Uh, and uh, just, you know, th this green room is something that's gaining a lot of traction. And uh, I, I think it deserves to have a host who, uh, who has some credibility, has some clout, who has some passion about the entertainment industry and, and knowledge of the entertainment industry as well as the pro wrestling industry. Uh, I definitely think I'm that guy. So, uh, uh, and, and there's a lot of great um, competitors in this tournament. And, and, and I, I take a lot of pride in being a great competitor myself. So I'm looking forward to uh, what the next step is and, and who's next for me down the pike here. But guys, I digress. Speaking of feeling very jumpy, speaking of feeling very, very comfortable with myself because I feel an electric core surging through my veins because one of these, these untalented participants has been eliminated. Hopefully yet another will be eliminated. Why? Because we have another elimination matchup coming up. And this person has not been a thorn in my side, no. But this person thinks he has the verbal stamina to outdo a one Avi Klein. This person thinks he's funny. This person thinks he's witty. This person thinks he's charming. This person thinks he's talented. This person thinks. But no, he doesn't. If he thinks he's all those things, he doesn't think. He's incapable of thought because nobody can best me. Verbally, if you don't believe me, listen to this promo, because up next is the GOC and Pinocchio Joe. And to the winner goes the spoils, because this too is the third and final matchup between Pinocchio Joe and the GOC. Uh, uh, yeah. Excuse me, guys and gals, even this voiceover, this narration, sometimes feels fatigue, especially when this voiceover and this narration knows that the GOC Kirkland Esquire is next to the horizon. The GOC Kirkland Esquire is a waste of human breath. The GOC Kirkland Esquire is someone that has somehow infiltrated this green room, an exclusive field of talented actors in the world of film, television, athletes that have succeeded on all fronts, in all walks of life, in all sports, from pro wrestling, boxing, musicians, thespians, even you, the WWE faithful. Yet somehow, in some way, the GOC Kirkland Esquire is still hanging around. The GOC Kirkland Esquire, much like that piece of dirt or that little speck of sand we cannot remove from our body after a nice trip to the beach, the GOC Kirkland Esquire remains stuck. It remains stuck on me for all I can do and hope for. When I wake up in the morning and go to sleep at night, it's a world that does not include the GOC Kirkland Esquire, especially in the green world. So Pinocchio Joe, get the job done. Make sure that clown goes down and make sure I don't have any more crowns. Because when it's all said and done, only the strong will survive and thrive. And the GOC Kirkland Esquire does not be long. Tonight, with their series deadlocked at one, tonight, a man as eloquent and as graceful and as intelligent as Pinocchio Joe will face the contrast of his nightmares, yes, the contrast of his nightmares, yes, the contrast of his nightmares in the GOC Kirkland Esquire, a man who will be defeated and eliminated once and for all, and I will wake up and look over to my voiceover and look over to my narration and realize this was a shiny moment. It wasn't a prediction and it wasn't a spoiler. It was a prophecy. The GOC Kirkland Esquire will be persona non rata.
that something or what, guys? Was that something? I gotta tell you, that narrator has got so much talent that he could have hosted all of the Tonight Shows. Every single one of them. Forget Jack Parr. Forget Johnny Carson. I know none of you halfwits understand what I'm talking about. Why? Because I speak the truth, but I'm also eloquent. When you host a show like this, you have to have brains. And of course, GOC is going to enter the broadcast and say, I have the brain of a dehydrated BB gun. That's what he's going to say. Because he wants to do shtick. GOC, welcome to your demise. You're tied 1-1 with a real man. You're tied 1-1 with Pinocchio Joe. Tell me. Please tell the audience why you're quivering in your boots. <laughs> Golden Fine Klein, not tonight. You will not get in my head tonight because I don't care what you have to say tonight. I will deal with you. I'm facing game three elimination right now against Pinocchio Joe. He has threatened my family. He has threatened me. He has threatened everyone. He has dug graves. And Avi Klein, you couldn't be more biased in your opinion towards me. I will get you tonight. Right. You will not get into my head tonight. I already have Avi Klein. You won't. Golden Fine Klein. Avocado Klein. That's in Fine Klein. You know what that means to me, Avi Klein? Not a damn thing tonight, because my focus is on Pinocchio Joe. Let's get on to the task at hand. I'm life, life, bro. life is full. Life is full of disappointments. And all I need to do to prove that point is to present to you one GOC Esquire. What a disappointment he was, not just to me, not just to the WWAB faithful. What a disappointment he was to the parents that gave birth to him. The GOC Esquire is going to be persona non grata, not by me, but by a man who you never, ever should have upset. A man that we all call Pinocchio Joe. Success is usually the culmination of controlling failure. Pinocchio Joe knows what's at stake. He knows that by defeating that clown, the man that is soiled, the very turf that we call the green room, the man that doesn't deserve to call himself a man at all. GOC Kirkland Esquire, a man posing as a competitor, a competitor posing as a contender, a true pretender of sorts, finds himself, much like Pinocchio Joe, staring at the face of elimination as they are tied up at one with both of their backs against the wall. The time has come for a true winner. The time has come for an undisputed winner in this very hotly contested matchup and series. We have seen Pinocchio Joe dig up the very grave of one GOC Kirkland Esquire. By the way, job well done, because that's exactly where GOC belongs. And Pinocchio <laughs> Joe will make sure that my wish comes true. You will make sure that my dream turns into a reality because Pinocchio Joe will defeat GOC Crooklyn Esquire and he'll do it tonight. And by doing so, he will advance into round number two and the clown who makes me frown will be Persona Non Rada. Guys and gals, I present to you a true man a real man who knows how to get the job done. Not a man that looks as pathetic and sounds even more pathetic. Who sits right next to me. Like I said, guys and gals, this man, GOC, epitomizes what disappointment really is. But don't worry, he's consistent because he's been disappointing since birth. I only wish that God gave me more middle fingers. And we don't do that here. We're a clean show. I'm a clean man. But GOC, Pinocchio Joe's not a clean man. Pinocchio Joe has made it no secret that this is more than just advancing to round number two. Pinocchio Joe is in your head. No, he's not. He's not in my head, Clyde. He's not. I don't know what you're laughing at, fat boy. I don't know what you're laughing at. You're all covered up with your face and your hat and whatever it is that you're wearing. I don't know what you're laughing at, Pinocchio Joe. Tonight is your demise. You, this has been going on for too long. It's night five. You're all done, Pinocchio Joe. Look at you. Yeah, you're yeah, a disgrace. Yeah. You're a disgrace. Avi, Avi, would you like him to shut up for the rest of his life? I have been dying for this man to shut up.
even know him back then, and I still wanted him to shut up. No, 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 we don't have to do that. No, no, we don't have to do that. That's fine. No, 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 no,
joke to any of your adversaries in this next promo. Describe what on earth the GOC would have to do to save his life once in captivity. What would he have to do to save his life? What would he have to do to save his life? <laughs> I've never thought about that, Avi. But, uh... He can save it right now. And just walk away. <laughs> just walk away and you can save your life right now. Um, Otherwise, I have... Yeah. A lot uh, of stuff that you can uh, do. You, you've seen my videos, my uh, take the mask off. Yo, 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 take the mask off. GOC, he brings up a good point. Will he you walk away? Nothing. Will you walk away? He walk away. I won't walk away from Pinocchio Joe. I won't walk away from the green room. I can't even understand what this man is saying. What are you saying, Pinocchio Joe? Reveal yourself. Put a face to the problem like it up. It up. Does. It up. That's slander. Don't be slanderous towards Pinocchio Joe. Don't. I will implore the masses to understand that this mediocrity, otherwise known as GOC, will hopefully not ever sully this broadcast ever again. So there's another promo, if you can try to deliver one, from GOC. Here's the next promo for GOC. Here's the topic matter. GOC, you too have apprehended many people in your time in the past. In this next promo, describe what on earth the GOC would have to do to save his own life once in captivity. Golden fine, Clyde, I don't ever have to worry about saving my life. I've had things put to my head. I've had stuff put to my throat. I want to keep this clean, but I'm going to keep it reality. I've dealt with society's worst. I've chased them all over the country. I've slept outside in my car for days on end. I'll come through your house and bang down the door at three or four o'clock in the morning. I don't have to worry about my survival. I've survived with the worst of the worst throughout my whole life. Pinocchio Joe and what he thinks he can do to me, I'm not worried in the least. I am the ultimate survivor, and you will see that here at the green room once Pinocchio Joe is buried in the bowels of the earth. <laughs> Guys, that concludes the uh, promo challenges for GOC and Joe. And again, this series is tied at one. This is the clincher over here. Whoever wins will advance on to round number two, Joe, and whoever loses will be eliminated and essentially will be persona non grata. GOC. Uh, P from Sharpie, who gets this, uh, and please make the right decision, who gets your vote and why for these promos that we just heard from these two gentlemen? Well, his promos were, were graphic, for one. Uh, GOC says he's a, a survivor. Yeah. So I don't want to see him walk away. I want to see what Pinocchio Yo can bring. And GOC, I want to commend you on your video and audio, audio quality tonight. It's very good. So who gets your vote? My vote goes to GOC. GOC gets your vote? I think we understand where I'm going. I'm going with Pinocchio Joe. I thought oh, Pinocchio Joe- Wait, 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 wait! Well, you're challenging me? I will explain to you, because you're, you're being so, you're in panic mode now. I understand why. Pinocchio Joe, less is more. It was a lot more sincere. It came from a real place, and I believed everything he told me. Everything you just did was a lie. You tried to threaten what Pinocchio what Joe with say, what? Mere words? Fine, Pinocchio fine. Joe Pinocchio Joe knows his actions are stronger than his words. So guys, another challenge. Uh, guys, who gets this challenge? Who gets it? The GOC. fans vote for GOC. GOC. Paul Roma voting for GOC. There's some bias there. Paul, really? Not Pinocchio? GOC? GOC? GOC. Guys, come on. Come on. Come on, I built this place. I built the green room. I say Joe! No? Guys, for this particular challenge, Joe, it's not over. It's not over. GOC wins this challenge. It's not over. It's not over. Why? We have another challenge, and if Joe wins the next challenge, then it will go to a coin toss. Because if Joe wins the next challenge, 
The challenge portion of tonight is tied at one. So is the series. The next challenge that I bestow upon you. Hold on, Abby Klein. Can we make a toast? Um, a toast? You want you want me to make a toast with you? I would okay. like to make a toast. Life is pain. Man is mortal. But never go with chaos when death is on the line. Pinocchio Joe. Please know, I hold you in the highest of regards. A toast. All right, that's between you guys. Uh, I guess to the victor goes the spoils. I'll be back for the next challenge in about two minutes. Pinocchio Joe, it's been a long, hard battle. And I know Wait, hold on a second. On. Hold on, Joe. You're telling me you're okay with this as well? You're fine with this toast? I'm fine. It'll be his last fluid he ever gets. Okay. Get on okay. All right. You drink from your glass, I'll drink from mine, Pinocchio Joe. Don't oh, wait, wait. 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 This isn't over. I may respect you, Pinocchio Joe. It's 1-1. One, one. But as I said, Soak it in, Pinocchio Joe. I do respect what you did for a living. You drink yours, I'll drink from mine. I thought it was out of mutual respect. 
and they passed out. Guys, um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for next week. Uh, I will give you as much thorough information as I can. I'll provide you some thorough information with some posts, letting you know when Pinocchio Joe and the GOC will be back, unless they can't compete. I, I don't know. Maybe this is something serious. Maybe they won't be physically fit to compete. Maybe, I, don't, I don't even know if they're alive. I, I don't know. I'm trying to remain optimistic. If these guys can get their bearings and they can survive, they'll be back to do this again. Um, Let's hope so. I hope so. I'm going to put Pete in the back here, guys, because he's going to take some notes for the next matchup. Other man. And guys, I'm looking at him in the back. We don't see his customary sunglasses on his face for whatever reason. Uh, I, I see his shades. Uh, I know he's trying to do his best to appear professional the way he always does. But you've got to give this guy a bit of a, a bit of a mulligan here because he's worse for wear. He epitomizes what the green room is all about. No, not because of his talent, black drug, but because of the end result of what took place in his matchup last week against Pinocchio Joe. Their very lives were on the line. I'll show some clips throughout the show. I'll show you guys what's been taking uh, place in the green room. Last week, it wasn't just a battle of survival in terms of moving on to round number two. It was a battle of mortality. Pinocchio Joe and GOC were about to square off in their final challenge of the night. And then GOC cuts me off and reminds me in the world that just because Pinocchio Joe and GOC have taken this to parts unknown, that doesn't mean that he doesn't respect his opponent. Lifted up a glass. Pinocchio Joe complied. He had a glass conveniently ready as well, and they toasted each other. And within moments, they each passed out. I didn't know if they were alive. Thankfully, Pinocchio Joe, only recently, and the GOC, almost immediately, gave us an update on their condition. Uh, GOC, you don't look very good. You're wobbling, you're, you're woozy, you're shaking. I can see you visibly shaking right now. Um, let me bring you into the broadcast right now. Well, 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 just fine, Klein. You laid it out there pretty perfectly, Avi, didn't you? Thank you. Yeah, I think so. You laid it out there about Pinocchio Joe what happened this past Saturday night, and you're right. I'm still recovering. I still have the effects, Avi. Do you care? Did I get one note, one message, one email from you, <laughs> Avi Klein? No, I didn't. You know what I got from you? I got nothing from you, Avi Klein. All the, all the other competitors, they checked in on the GOC. And you know who helped me more than anybody? Jay Brody. That's right. And he was there to help me. And now you know what? I'm going to address Pinocchio Joe. Before you so, do, Jay Brody. Go, 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 about Jay Brody. Go ahead, Jay Brody. Go ahead. I watched your previews. I want everyone to know they're really fine. They're just as fine as my ensemble. I like watching them. They're really good. I like the stuff that you do, man. You preview the stuff, you review the stuff, you go an hour and 40, hour and 30. You cover it all. There's no doubt about that. But I want to know something, and the world wants to know. There's someone in that picture frame in the back. Can we confirm he's standing behind a flag? Is that Jay Brony? I plead uh, the Fifth Amendment. You're live? Listen, I know Duke's not here. Is so that Jay Brony? Is that Jay Brony behind you in the picture frame? Are you going to put me on the spot here, just yes. like mine? Yes. That's Jay Brony. Well, yeah, there we go. Guys, that's Jay Brony. He looks a bit different. I don't see the... I mean, a lot of people might. I don't see the similarities. He's Listen, heavier. He's heavier. This sister. person is 330 pounds, 6 foot 3. I that's am Jay barely 5'11 and 235 pounds. I know. I know. I know. That's Jay Brony. There is Jay Brody. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Now, I will say, people have gotten us mixed up. Hey, listen, a lot of people back in the day said I used to look like many other different people. But I'm going to say that to say this just fine, Clyde. For your fans here live, we look alike, but we are not related. I want this to be known out there. A lot of people, whether it be people from the past, have been trying to say that we are one in the same. And I'm going to, this is a shoot. 
if you're going to talk about Davis Jubilee, DJ Hoopcha, how's your Odalac? Do you get where I'm going here, just fine, Klein? Yes, I get, no I get that you mentioned three bums that aren't going to win this tournament. There's no way that these two people are the same. Let the I fans talk about this. I Let agree. them ask the people. The people really want to know. They sent this to me. The people really want to know. Forget about Jay Brony. We don't care about that stooge. The people really want to know whether or not the GOC is fully recovered. Well, I'll be give me your time. Jay's picture back. Can I put Jay's picture back? Why are you deflecting? Why are you stalling? You're chippering, you're jabbering, you're bumbling and stumbling and mumbling. Get it out, man. I need to be honest. Yeah, I do. Drop the shtick and be honest. I'm not, this is not shtick. I haven't felt good. I don't know what Joe did, but I know that with his background and that all the stuff that he has at his fingertips, just like I do, I mean, let's face it. I just saw the murder hornet, the lone wolf, Mr. Sassack. I get it. He lost to B. Brian Blair. I just saw Rich Masati, the worst net worse for wear against Duke. Now you have someone out here who's legitimately been rooting or poisoned or whatever it is against two men that have the background that we do. Do you understand? Yeah, I wasn't in the military. But do you understand the background that Pinocchio, Joe, and the GOC had? Does anybody realize what we're really all about and what this rivalry is really all about? You talk about all the matchups. You have the stars that in the fear put up on night six. I'm not going to miss it tomorrow night. Trust me, Mark Henry, Alex, the super assistant, the spitfire down you to believe. Listen, you're going to have award-winning people on comedians, a Hall of Famer from the sports world. I don't know what you're going to pull out of that hat. Quite I don't the upgrade. know what you're going to pull out of that Quite the upgrade. And let me tell you something, GOC. Once again, if you think I have remorse as it pertains to the events that took place last Saturday, June the 5th, you're wrong. And I implore people to watch the replay. And I also want people to understand something. Very soon, there will be not one, two, but three YouTube channels. Two of them very credible, by the way. That we'll be streaming on. That's an announcement for coming in a couple of weeks. But beyond that, the Patreon's coming up as well. But for now, you guys can watch the replay of the Green Room last week also. Um, it was quite a show. I'll pull up some still shots and we'll review some of them as I bring Rich and Howard in momentarily to discuss every photo that I put on display. And we'll preview tomorrow's show. And guys, I want to do that here right now. GOC is going to be here with me. Um, I want to remind you guys that it's not all about the GOC. As a matter of fact, the world is a better place when it's not about them. I want to bring up. It, it really is. It truly, and that's what. How can you say that? That's, Why that's are you continuing to insult me, Avi? Because, because people tell me not to cook things inside. People tell me it's a lot healthier to just divulge the truth. So, guys, this is a tomorrow's night lineup. This is a lineup that I need to show you guys. I will bestow this upon all of you. Check this out. We got Mark Henry tomorrow. Mark Henry is finally going to be facing his mystery opponent. We know that he was supposed to face Sally Kirkland. It was a bit of a technical snafu a couple of weeks back, so she ended up facing Pete, who again got starstruck. That's what the Green Room does to you. He was eliminated pretty quickly. So Mark will be facing his mystery opponent tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Where? On my page, of course, guys, on Duke's page. Uh, on 39 other pages, not including my co-hosts. I will be then interviewing said mystery opponent. After that, I'll be interviewing a second mystery entrant. And then that mystery entrant will be facing another mystery entrant. And finally, I'll be interviewing the third mystery opponent, and then Alex and Dahlia Jubilee will close it out. Uh, we all know that's an elimination matchup. Alex is up 1-0, barely. Barely squeaked out a victory against Dahlia. Uh, and then, of course, next week is going to be a loaded show. Uh, all I can tell you guys and gals about next week is <sighs> it is going to be something to behold. We have Del Wilkes and Andy McDaniel next Saturday. That's going to be June the 19th. Uh, we also have Brian Clark and Fred Altman. They're tied up at 1-1. We'll find out who moves on to round number two. That'll be next Saturday night. Uh, we also have Bill DeMont and Crowbar. He's down 0-1. That'll take place as well. Howard will find out who his new opponent is. Uh, there's, there, there are a ton of matchups taking place next Saturday night. I think the Music Man and Mindy are going to square off again as well. Uh, but that's what this tournament of 64 is. There's always, always a jam-packed lineup. And you guys need to understand something. These people from the world of film and TV, these aren't people that are being pitched to. All I do is pick up my phone and make a phone call 
say, hey, guys, you want to compete in this tournament of 64? You want to dress it up a bit? Because the mediocrity, yes, I'm referring to you, the mediocrity is ever-present in the green room. I need you to clean it up a bit. And, of course, they say, sure, Avi, sure. I'll be your Huckleberry. We've known you for a while. Put our names in. Throw our names in the hat. And almost every one of them is in advance so far. Because that's what they do. These aren't just celebs. These are guys that know what it's like to be in front of the camera. I pity the fool who has to face a Michael Winslow in round number two if he does be defeat Andrew Cassess. I mean, we don't know. Andrew Cassess put up a promo yesterday. I pity the fool who has to face John Amos. I pity the fool who has to face Todd Bridges. I pity the fool that has to face Sally Kirkland. And many, many more. Because tomorrow, there'll be more celebrity talent from the world of sports, film and TV, comedy, they're all going to be there tomorrow. You have to tune in live to find out who they are and if they move on. Uh, GOC, before I move on, Clay Hecker, hello. Not a problem. Not a problem. A lot of new viewers coming in here. Thank you. Uh, don't leave out your drink. Don't leave your drink unattended, GOC. I want to talk about that. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Hold on a second. You, you keep reminding the masses why we should feel sorry for you. Why should we have empathy towards you? And this is a legitimate question. Well, you haven't shown any empathy towards Pinocchio Joe. He, too, is poisoned. Apparently. Wait, wait. First off, how could you say that? And I never said people didn't have empathy. I said you, Avi Klein. I said you don't have any empathy towards me. You're right. right. Because if you remember, I already battled Pinocchio Joe three times, Avi Klein. Just by right. And guess what? All three times, the WWAB fans and the WWAB universe voted for who? Voted for who? They voted for me. And the only reason. I lifted up a toast to Pinocchio Joe is because of our backgrounds and we're in the same circles. I do respect the man for what he's done. So I'm going to say that to say this, but you're the one that showed me no empathy. Hundreds of fans have reached out to me on social sure. media. Hundreds of fans have voted for me in this green room, on this network. Boy, that place did a number on you, didn't it? If you really even, think, let me tell you I'll something. You Hold on a second. That. I got the bread and you got the bologna. If you really think I'm going to buy the fact that thousands of people voted for you, that poison was much more potent. It was much more potent than I thought it was. You really want to believe that people care about you, GOC? They don't care about you. I've been watching the CNN. I don't. I cut my cable, but I've been watching all news outlets across the country, and there've been people marching high and low, shouting, "Get out, clown! Get out, clown! This is a crime! Get out, clown!" This was a crime scene. The authorities left here 72 hours ago. They came in here and they fingerprinted and they dusted the whole bunker. This was a crime scene, Avi Klein. If you watched the preview review show that I did, you saw and you want to say, oh, it was it was, it was stiff. No, no, that was legit and that was real. You're going to see the photos and the videos that have followed in the last 72 hours and how deathly ill I was. I don't need to catch any Why do you want to win this see? Why are you even here? Why do you want to win this tournament? You know why? Why? You want to really know why? Because there isn't one person in this whole competition, one person in the WWAB network, including yourself, that you may be more talented than me. You may have more connections than me. But there them. was nobody. And I mean nobody that will outwork me seven days a week. You work 22 <laughs> hours a day. You work 22 hours a day. I'll be glad I'm going read it. Kudos. But you're not the only one. Oh, man. You're not the only one. I'll be glad. You're not the only one. I'll be glad. If I had a penny, which is about the uh, the value of your talent, if I had a penny, but every time some jabron walked up and told me they could do seven days a week for 10 months, every single day without a break, Perfect, Harley, perfect was. You really think that I've given you my all when we've had our little verbal tango? No, no. I, I don't underestimate you. I don't underestimate you. I didn't the shred if I wanted to, GOC. But it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about showing the world why you don't belong. 47. Where is AK 47? I want to see AK 47 versus Jay Brody. How about that, Abby Gordon? AK 47 versus Jay Brody. What do you think about that? Nicholas Monty is joining us. GOC is dedicated and determined to take over the green room. Yes, I also have a bridge to sell you, Nicholas, but thank you for your opinion. I appreciate that. Uh, at work, everyone. Yes, guys, but all GOC does, and he does it well, I'll give him that, is talk the talk. He's going to have to walk no, no, the walk. No, no, the challenge no, no. I have for you, you might no, no. want to hear this. The challenge I have for you, you might want to hear this. 
The challenge that I have for you and Pinocchio Joe in a couple of weeks, it won't be next week, but the challenge I have for you in a couple of weeks is going to be mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. The challenge I have for you next week, oh, in a couple of weeks, I'm sorry, for you and Pinocchio Joe is going to determine who's the better man, not only as a competitor, but who's a real man. That's all I'm going to say. Who's a real man? A brand new, guys, since we're getting to the end of round number one, a brand new challenge, a brand new challenge that we've never seen just for you and just for Pinocchio. Can I ask you a question, just fine, Klein? Yep. You keep alluding to how I have no talent and how I can't get anything done. I've shown right. you nothing but mutual respect. You're a hit, former history teacher. You have a background that's illustrious. 15 yep. years at Lionsgate. You know everybody. I'll give you credit. You look good. You're in great shape. We even know some of the same people from the same circle, Bobby Clyde. <laughs> How about that? Have you really done your research on the Guardian of Chaos? GOC Kirkland Esquire, GOC Esquire, and you can say that you don't care. Because you know what I found out, Abby Klein, and you know this better than anyone. Whenever someone says they're not listening, <laughs> that you don't have any talent. <laughs>
Get out, clown. We don't have clowns in this show. No. We have warriors, fighters. People understand what it takes to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty and grab somebody's heart. That epitomizes Pinocchio Joe, who's a hunter, who's a man that represents the militia. That's who he is. He's got a, a grave that he dug up. Kirkland Esquire, GOC, you will be persona non grata tonight because they already had their first matchup last Saturday. <laughs> and the GOC's back is against the wall. <laughs> of the unnecessary. Creativity has more to do with the elimination of the inessential than with inventing something new. GOC Kirkland Esquire needs to reinvent something new in his arsenal, his bag of tricks. Because the GOC Kirkland Esquire is about to face elimination. He's on the wrong end of a wall. On an O series. Last week, what many deemed a surprise, a shock, if you will, was no shock to Pinocchio Joe. Pinocchio Joe, who's been an unknown figure on the green room, a man who's made but a handful of appearances, made his impact known last week when he defeated the GOC Kirkland Esquire. Since then, the GOC has cried foul and chicanery. But a man understands the prestigious nature of competing alongside many legends in the world of film, TV, music, sports, and pro wrestling also knows that his time may have come to an end. The very first of the best of three elimination matchups takes place right now as Pinocchio Joe looks to finally eliminate the GOC Kirkland Esquire, a man that has been boisterous, a man that hasn't been short of confidence, but a man that may be on the outside looking in. It's do or die now. The time for questions, the time for banter, the time for noise has come to an end. Pinocchio Joe, GOC Kirkland Esquire, 1 0, 2 0, 1 1. It comes down to this. When the GOC's back against the wall, we will find out what he's truly made of. Next. The GOC, guys and gals, get out clown. It's so fitting that he talks about BB guns all the time, because much like Howard Collado's love life, you shoot blanks, don't you? You shoot blanks. You've been shooting a lot of blanks the last few weeks with that mouth of yours. I've got a mouth as well, a motor mouth, but guess what? My mouth accomplishes every objective that it sets. Your mouth is just white noise, my friend. White noise. Anna. I know a rat when I smell one, a funeral when I see one, and a bad moon when it rises. Festive fine Clyde, you did it again. You and Pete did it again. It's round one, night two, and out of everything that happened so far tonight, only myself and Pinocchio Joe are back for a second matchup. This was planned because look at the clock, everyone. Look around. Look and see what time it is. It's at the same time as Keegan-Michael Key on SNL, just like Elon Musk Never heard last week. The ratings are going up. I'm back here, and I don't care about Pinocchio Joe. Festive fine Clyde. <laughs> oh, so I get we're getting, speaking to guys and gals of being in a delusional state of mind. I don't mind to tell you that it's mind over matter. You don't mind. I matter. And so does the next opponent right now that's going to put an end to this GOC. He's going to make sure that this clown gets out once and for all. Get out, clown! I'm offended by the get out, clown! Don't get me started, clown! Don't get me started, fist well, of fine, clown! I'm not a get out, out clown! Right I got spooked last week, you I'm not right 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 someone in your life. I'm not someone in your life that wants to... There's a message over here, guys. This is from the GOC's missus. She just texted me right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, can I read this? Can I read this? Let me read it. Keep keep it! Keep it! Keep it! She's rooting for you. Avi, the one thing I like about the 
VOC. The one thing I fell in love with him more than anything else is his level of consistency. Yes, he shot blanks against Pinocchio Joe last no, week. What do you mean? But you should have seen him shoot blanks in bed these last 25 oh. years of marriage. So the GOC, I'm sorry, it is your destiny to lose, just like you've lost at life, just like you've lost at lovemaking. Guys and gals, Pinocchio Joe is not here to entertain the masses. He's here to kill the GOC once and for all. This is not measured by what Can you accomplished. No, but the opposition you have encountered and the courage with which you have maintained a struggle against overwhelming odds. Pinocchio Joe faced insurmountable odds last Saturday night when he drew P.O.C. Kirkland Esquire, a man who's told the masses that he is the favorite, a man who's told the masses that winning the green is his destiny. He's also a man that is facing elimination. And Pinocchio Joe knows that all too well as he is up 1-0. A man that has not exactly been a known commodity on the green room is a man that may find himself quickly amongst the very few who is in round number two. In order to get to round number two, Pinocchio Joe must defeat GOC Kirkland Esquire. He must replicate his performance last Saturday and defeat the GOC and send him packing once and for all. This is when we find out the difference between the pretenders and the contenders. This is when we find out what happens when someone has their proverbial foot against another person's throat. Will Pinocchio Joe ease up? Or will Pinocchio Joe finish the job and make it over to round number two? While the GOC lives on as a legend only in his mind. Well, there you go, guys and gals. Uh, that is the one and only victor of this series, Pinocchio Joe. And, of course, I'm only making a prediction. That's not a spoiler. Why? I don't know what the future holds. I don't hold your future in my hands, the GOC. I don't. Pinocchio Joe makes his you own do. Pinocchio you, do, you, do, you, do, you do. You do hold my future. I believe I hold the Hello, Pinocchio. And, by the way, guys... It looks like it I'm echoing like because the GOC's audio is once again out of form for the GOC and Pinocchio Joe as well. I guess these guys, and this is what I have to deal with. I have to deal with real men who are in the bunker, who've got their militia ready, who've got their weapons ready. And that's why their audio is probably a little offsetting. So guys, let's bear with it right now. As you can tell by my audio, it's so clean and crisp. The GOC's put a hex on Pinocchio Joe. He's put a hex on him. That's what he's done. That's why we can't hear Pinocchio Joe that well. Oh, Pinocchio? Are you able to hear me now? Yes, we hear you perfectly fine. Let's bring it to uh, the GOC as well. GOC, here's your one chance. Please. Forfeit. Or you are going to be so embarrassed using an unknown. GOC, do you have anything to show? Or are you going to sit there like a stupid new boss? Is that all he has to say? Are you telling me that this guy's going to sit here and, and, and be a host of the Green Room Echo or not? Internet or not? I don't care about any of that. I don't know what's going on here. I don't like their opinion. I don't like their Guys, let's start playing this challenge over here. Guys, let's play this challenge over here. GOC? I'm ready, I'm here. I'm ready, I'm here. Sounds like Blue Jarrett. Guys, let's play this first challenge over here. 